director, writer, producer, Chris Gertano of the Montauk Chronicles. Welcome. Thanks. So this is crazy. Is this a true story? Is it true? Um, that's been my question the whole time. So let's let's that's let's dial it time. back. <laughs> Basically, in the 70s, mm -hmm. in Montauk at Camp Hero, right. which I guess was an old military installation. And it really is a military installation. It became defunct around the early 70s. And so the idea is that during that period, mm -hmm. the government? It's not the U.S. government. They okay. claim that there are three men in my film, the three subjects of my film, claim that as the Air Force was moving out, a new facility moved in that was already... Uh, Some organization. A, a black ops organization. Someone outside of the U.S. government rented the facilities underneath Camp Hero okay. and conducted strange experiments underneath there. And so what kind of things were happening is, is being alleged? They claim everything from mind control experiments to time travel to alien contact all occurred underneath the base. Okay, well, time travel. Let's, let's maybe expand upon this okay. a little bit. Uh, and it's such an elaborate story, and that's why it took a nearly two-hour movie to tell it. it. But they say that around the country, during that time, there were runaway kids that were being kidnapped and taken down into the base and used for all sorts of experiments, kind of mind control experiments, to heighten psychic abilities, to open up a doorway to other dimensions. I mean, these are the most outrageous claims you'll ever hear. And I, when I at first listened, I didn't believe any of it. But as you go further into the story, and as I traveled and met with these men, they're so convinced that it happened, the power of suggestion seems to have a, a, a hold on you. And that's mainly what my film is about. And so do we know what, who, who is behind this? Uh, who, who, who do they think is doing these experiments? And to, for what reason? Again, this is some of the most outrageous claims you'll ever hear. But if, if you were to just believe an ounce of what they're telling you, you have to submit to the fact that everything you've ever known about your life is a lie. Okay. And that's a hard thing to take. A little hard, yeah. But these men, again, they're so convincing. I mean, I was in Michigan at a, a dinner party, and everyone around the table, everyone from the five-year-old child to the 80 elder, elderly old uh, uh, grandfather, was telling the same thing. And that has, I mean, it has a hold over you. These are intelligent, sound-minded so people. So once, once this organization would have their way with you, then what would happen to you? Well, if you were one of the runaway kids, you might either never be seen again, or they had another program where the kids are apparently, um, you know, some of the higher-ups in society right now. So these, okay. So it's kind of like a, a skull and bone society, Correct. Yale thing. They were rewarded for the experiment. And so uh, how did you get involved with this? Are you from the East End? I am. Well, I'm, I'm from Northport, Long Island originally, and I spent my summers when I was a kid out in Montauk. And so you always heard stories about this. I didn't until I was in high school, and I read the book, and I thought it was so far-fetched. And then the idea was brought to me again at a film festival when I was showing my first picture. And I thought I was fascinated more about visiting the men who are telling these tales and seeing how they live and how they behave rather than the stories themselves. But I, then I became completely submerged in the stories. And like an archaeologist, you start to dig within the stories. A lot of you start to find these little. Well, thank you for stopping by. Thank you. MTKChronicles.com. Correct. You should watch the, some of the behind the scenes footage and watch some of the trailers and interviews. It's oddly fascinating and hopefully it's not true. It might be. I mean. All right. So thank you for coming. Thanks.